The leading edge is the luff. The trailing edge is the leech. The lower leading corner is the tack. The trailing after corner is the clue. And the hip bone is connected to the thigh bone. Very funny. You're late. We're supposed to be getting our act together. Sorry. Things got a little... Well, they didn't work out well with Frankie. You want to talk about it? Maybe later. Okay. What do you know about boats? Well, this is a nice one here that John has. In other words, not a. Don't look at me like that. You're the one who grew up in Bay City. Uh, excuse me, but people on our block didn't do yachts. We did baseball and beer. They're not mutually exclusive. On Pop's salary, they were. Careful, dear. Your reverse snobbery is showing I again. just want to know how we're supposed to pass ourselves off as sailing types and pump the harbor master for information about Taylor's boat when we don't know our backstays from our elbow. Easy, we fake it. Right, okay. And what if this Terry guy starts spewing forth nautical terms? Such as? Come on. Excuse me, I'm sure they're all self-explanatory. A ground, a drift. A baft. Why are you lisping? As in, the tiller is a baft, the mast. That probably won't come up. Okay. A cheek block. Does Hulk Hogan sail? <laughs> oh! The correct answer is, what is a pulley? Who cares? <sighs> Eye of the wind. Felicia's latest novel. Oh, come on, Cass, you're not even trying here. Okay, I got one for you. Fire away. What is a boom crotch? I shudder to think. You're not even close. A boom? What is a boom crotch? It is a board with a notch at the top which supports the boom when the sail isn't raised. What's a boom? Never mind. All of this is irrelevant. <laughs> no, it isn't. Sailing types love jargon. Get over here. I have an idea. How many times have you seen Philadelphia Story? About 12 times, six of them with you. All right. She was yar. My, she was yar. No, she was yar, all right. I, I, I don't know exactly what it referred to, but it was about a boat, and it was good. My, she was yar. What does it mean? She was easy to handle, quick at the helm, fast, bright, everything a boat should be. Okay, honey, save it. You may need it. I hope not. I have a better idea. We go back to basics. Yes, we don't know the basics. No, I'm not talking about sailing. I'm talking human nature. I mean, after all, boys will be boys. What does it have to do with that anything? That includes the harbor master. I think I'm going to hate this. All you have to do is look sexy and gorgeous, which for you shouldn't be too, ooh, too hard to do. And uh, this harbor master will answer any question we might have for mm -hmm. him. In other words, you're asking me to compromise my standards. Right. As a feminist. Right. Hey, okay. hey, hey, hey. What? You're, you're afraid this Terry guy's not going to be able to keep his hands off of me? No. I'm afraid I won't. Hi there. Oops. Bad time, sorry. I'm Terry. The harbor master. You're Terry the harbor master? Terry Wixom. Winthrop. Dexter, here. This is Bitsy. Sorry to barge in on you like that. Like... Oh! Oh! Oh, you thought that... Oh, that's amusing, isn't it, Bitsy? Terry here thought that you and I were... Oh, you know, no, 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 no. Actually, you see, Bitsy is my sister, and she just broke off her engagement, and I was sort of comforting her. We're very close. A cast. Yes, I know you miss Cass, honey. I know you miss him desperately, but that cad was no good for you. You had absolutely nothing in common. The man hated boats. Oh. Hey, how special could he be? Hey! <laughs> so, are you interested in a bear boat charter? Actually, I'm interested in buying a boat. Nothing like a new boat to raise one's spirits. This one's just a loaner. It's way too small. Maybe you could uh, show us what you have available. Okay. I've got a couple listed for sale, might meet your needs. There's a swell 42-foot classic wood sloop. How swell is it? Well, she might be just a little old-fashioned for you, and the maintenance can be a pain in the you-know-what. Maintenance is such a bore. And she might be a little on the small side, too. Actually, what I had in mind was you this... You want something sweller? There's a gorgeous racer cruiser, 62-foot. That was an SORC champion just yeah. two years ago. Terry. Been converted for worldwide cruising. But she might be a little more than you had. I know the boat I want. You do? Mm-hmm. And when Sis knows what she wants... Windswept is the name. We saw it, uh, her here a couple of months ago. Oh, I know Windswept, sure. 52-foot yawl, mm. right? Great boat. All glass hull. Diesel auxiliary, teak decks, and bright work. 
You've actually been in this? Uh, aboard her? A long time ago. I used to go out with one of the crewmen. Way back. But Winslet's not for sale. She's not even in port. Yeah, we noticed that she was out. Do you have any idea where they went with her? Can't say that I do. But I might have that info back in my cabin. Wanna have a look with me? Well, uh, if, if you think you have something on file... The papers are kind of backed up, so it could take a while, but... You're willing to help me mess around in there. You get one inch closer, lady, and I pull your hair out by each and every dark root. Let's see. Any problem? Yeah, with predators. Sis, sis, sis. She's so overprotective. Ever since we were tads, you know how it is with big sister, baby brother. Baby brother? She won't stop. Yeah, I worry. She shouldn't. About my sister-in-law. I would, too, if I were you. You're married? Twice. Uh, long story. Excuse me, are we still here about a boat? Fine by me. Because I'd like to find Windswept and make the owner an offer. Hey, why don't all three of us go over to your cabin and check out the records? Forget it. Oh. It's a small cabin. Anyway, it's starting to come back to me. Yes, I thought it might. Windswept never filed a plan with the Coast Guard, so I don't know where they went officially. How about unofficially? Well, I went out one night for some beers with a couple guys on the new crew. They were talking about heading for the French West Indies. French West Indies from here? You never heard of the St. Lawrence Seaway? Well, what Cap uh, Bitsy means is that that's quite a trek. Bo voyage, I mean. Windswept could handle it. She's got the works. Accommodations for four, at least. Electronic navigational gear. Hell, if you've got nothing but time and money. And that's what the owner had? I'm assuming. Of course, I never met the owner. One day, a few weeks ago, Windswept was gone. A few weeks ago? You don't know the exact day? Does it matter? Oh, I, I guess not. I just had my heart set on windswept. She was yar. My, she was yar. She was everything a boat should be. But I guess you don't always get what you want. No harm trying. <laughs> I've got to get going. Well, listen, thank you for your help. Um, my, yes. You bet. <laughs> and honey, cut him some slack, huh? The man has a right to make his own mistakes. Oh, he does. Frequently. Don't laugh. We could have come up with nothing. But we didn't. We got all the information we want, and your honor's still intact. What honor? Oh, stop sulking and give Sissy a kiss. <laughs>